Hello, now I'm going to show you the REST service layer test. So that is, we're gonna, we're, we are going to test the, the, the web services. So this is particularly, uh, this, this is different because actually uh, we, are going to, we are going to do a, a, a remote invocation of the, 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 the web service. But we are going to simulate because we are going to use uh, something that is provided by Spring. So actually you don't need to launch a server for it. It just mocks the server and you can do, do to the tests in a friendly environment in a single uh, process that executes the test. I'm going to show you how this happens. And again, what, I, what I'm going to test, basically I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to repeat what was already tested in the, in, in the layers below. So basically I'm going to see if I received the correct data and I'm, I'm going to test the access control. If, um, the people that are able to invoke the, the successfully the, 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 the web service have the right to do it. Okay, so that's what I'm going to show you. So if you remember, this is the controller. So, uh, so that's the web service you're going to test. So we have activities there and is a post. Um, and so that's the register this is the the, the one so a little bit of uh, we we have to define this this is the nice part so it's a, a random environment so we, i don't need to 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 launch a server so it, this is a it mocks a server and it generates a, a a port so this is actually this variable it generates a port is gonna be a random port that when i do the invocation it's in this port. So it's not uh, 8081 as we, when we run our system, actually it's just for the test. We are gonna use a technology because we are, we are gonna do, a, do a, a REST call. So this is basically a Spock uh, program that is calling a, 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 a web service in a Java program. So we are gonna use a technology called Web Client that is very nice, it allows me to do it. So basically what I do at the beginning, First, I clean the database. Okay, it's nice for this test because we are going actually going to to write in the database. So if I don't clean the database for every test, uh, I can get uh, the tests are 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 going to, to to fail because there's information there and it is not consistent what I want to do. So I, I I delete the database. I delete all the information in the database. So if you if you look there, this is an auxiliary function method that basically deletes all the information and, and probably in your project you may need to add some deletes there uh, as you need it okay and then what we do basically in the setup we prepare the web client so it's going to be the the localhost port then i define the, the headers and i say that is application json so this is going to be sent in the in the request for every request i'm going to do and then i prepare the information so this is similar to the the to the setup of the the service test so i need to create entities to be in the database so before i i start invoking uh, i invoke the, the web service information should be in the database so that's what i'm doing here and this is very similar what we have seen in the in in, in the um, in the test for um, the service. Now what is new here? This is the actual call. So I'm doing a post in this URI. So everything fits, right? It's a post and this is the URI. Okay. Then I send the headers in the request. I here I say that I'm sending a body of, and this is the body I'm gonna send, is the activity DTO, so that's the activity DTO. So that's actually this guy here is gonna receive there, the request body, look. Then I retrieve the information, okay, to the response, and the response is of type activity DTO. So the response actually is this activity DTO there. 
Of course, it's DTO there, then it converts to JSON and then to DTO again. <laughs> because in this case, I'm, I'm receiving it in Spock, but if, if it was received in, in uh, JavaScript, it would be a JSON that I would receive there. And so that's it. So, but what characterizes these web services? I, I need to have authorization. How do I get authorization? Someone authenticates, the client authenticates and receives a token. And this token goes in the request. So this token should go with the headers. But if you see, the only headers I have there talk about the content, it's, it's JSON. So how do I put there, first, how do I, how do I authenticate? Okay, and then how do I put the, the, the token there? So that we, we can the, the the server can check who's, who's who's invoking. So that's this auxiliary. There's a couple of auxiliary methods here in this uh, Spock test, and this is demo member login. If you go to demo member login, we'll see that we do a get that is a demo get. And what characterizes this? We get the result, and this and this result. So when you do a login, you receive a token. And what we do, we put the token in the headers. That's nice. So look at your test. You do login. Now when you send the headers there, the token is already there. So okay, I'm invoking this as a member. Well, as a member. It seems that's that's okay. I expect a member there, okay? Because I authenticated with the demo member. So when I do this, I get this response, and of course I can check that all the information is okay. The information that I send in the DTO, and I can go to the database and see that the information in the database is again, again. So the the, the activity is stored in the database. And at the end, that's nice to clean the database because you are actually working with, uh, with the information in the database. Then I'm gonna test, I'm gonna leave this for the end. I'm gonna test the case where I try as a volunteer. So again, as a volunteer, there's, here I do the same. So instead of doing uh, this request to, authenticate as a member, I try to authenticate as a volunteer, and I can, I'm, I'm able to do it, it's, and I receive a token, but it's a volunteer token. So the token goes in the other, and now when I send these in the other year, this guy is gonna answer with a forbidden, or I expect if it is well implemented, that's what I expect that happens. So forbidden is actually Oh, 403, sorry, sorry. I said 404 in the other video is 403. Okay, so, so I do it for volunteer and I see that the demo, so when I log in as a demo, also fails. Another thing that I check here is, so what happens if I get a bad request? So to see if a bad request, so if an exception, so, I just do this for one, just one case, because I've already tested in the domain layer. I, I already have tested that the invariants are preserved. But now what I want to test is that when I threw, when I threw a, 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 an exception because a, a, an invariant is violated, the, I want to be ch sure that I receive here a bad request. Okay, so that the exception is converted into a bad request so that the, 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 the caller of the web service receives a bad request. Okay, and how do I check it? How do I implement it? So I try with a member because the member is authorized, but I put a blank in the name. And as, as you remember, one of the variants is that a name is required and cannot be blanks or, or, or no. Okay. And what I expect to receive is a bad request, response. And 